Hi, I'm Rick Pedley, and welcome back to PK Safety Supply. In our last edition, we spoke about what VOC detectors do. Now let's look at how the devices work. VOCs, or volatile organic compounds, are, as you might imagine, typically organic molecules, though there are exceptions, such as ammonia. And they tend to evaporate easily at room temperature. This includes a wide variety of solvents, fuels, and many other toxic substances, such as benzene, mentioned in our previous edition. Because of this variety, a broad range sensor needs to be used. But the most common type, the hot bead pellister combustible gas sensor, is unable to measure the low concentrations that constitute toxic exposure levels for most of the VOCs we are interested in. So, one proven method for measuring toxic levels of VOCs is with a photoionization detector, or PID. This device provides the sensitivity we need to produce meaningful results. However, like other broad range detectors, it provides an aggregate reading of the total VOCs in a given air sample. That is, the detector won't tell you if there is a particular contaminant in the air sample, but it will allow you to accurately judge the total VOC concentration. So how does it do this? A photoionization detector uses high energy ultraviolet light from a lamp contained in the detector as the source of energy to knock an electron from the VOC molecules as they pass by in the sample airstream. These electrically charged fragments, called ions, are collected on charged plates. This produces a flow of electrical current in proportion to the concentration of the VOCs in the sample. The molecules later recombine once they pass out of the lamp housing, so no burning or destruction takes place. The amount of energy needed to remove an electron from the VOC molecule is called the ionization potential, or IP, for that substance, and is measured in electron volts. The specific energy level generated by the UV lamp is also measured in electron volts. And as a general rule of thumb, so long as the lamp energy is greater than the ionization potential, the molecule can be detected by the PID. Using this basic technique, photoionization detectors are able to measure toxic VOCs at or below published threshold limit values, or TLVs. Of course, making this happen reliably and repeatedly is the trick. Next time, we'll look at the specific workings of the Mini-Ray 2000 PID from Ray Systems to illustrate how it is done. Thank you for visiting PK Safety Supply, and I welcome your comments and suggestions.